Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Code Y Shop, a series where I take strange or just plain stupid ideas and turn them into games. Today I'm going to be making the strangest tower in PewDiePie's Minecraft series into an arcade style game. I'm not going to waste too much time on this introduction, so let's just get started. The basic plan for this project was to create a tower of llama games similar to the block stacking arcade or mobile game. You try to drop blocks, or in our case llamas, onto each other to create a tower. The higher your tower gets, the faster the blocks move back and forth, making it more difficult. The unique aspect of the one I am making today is that if you land the llamas near the center of the previous llama, you get points that fill up a bar that give you a power-up whenever it fills up. These power-ups had some strategy and variety to the game. The steps I took to make this game were as follows. Step 1, I made some basic pixel art for the game. 2, I made a very simple version of the block stacking game with this art. 3, I added a menu, a retry system, and score system. 4, I added power-ups. 5, I added things like a high score, a main menu, and some other fun stuff. 6, finally I added polish, fixed bugs, and playtested. So let's move on to step 1. So before doing anything else, I sat down and created some simple pixel art for this game in graphic scale, a free to use pixel editor. I created some variants for the llama, Pewds himself, a basic backdrop, and his original Minecraft house. Step 2. Next up, I made a project in Game Maker Studio 2 and got to work making the base game. I programmed a llama, which can go back and forth and drop down when clicked. Then I made the llama collide with the ground and other llamas. After that came making the camera move up. The problem with moving the camera is that the room that the game is in is technically infinite, but the camera cannot move up infinitely, so instead of moving the camera up, I moved everything but the camera and a few other objects down. Next, I increased the speed that the Blama moves over time, and added a maximum to that speed. So now I had a very simple version of the game, but it hardly works and isn't very interesting. So that's where the next step came in. Step 3. The very first feature I added in this step was a score counter, which was probably needed to begin with. Then I added a randomizer to the llamas at the beginning that switched them between three different variants. This randomizer was not working and took me forever to figure out why. The reason it wasn't working was because I was missing a single letter, I. Next I made a retry system, which was simply restarting the room. Finally, I made it so that if the llama that you are currently dropping lands on a llama that is not the top one, it goes through the llama and you lose, so you can't cheat the system. Step 4 Now we are getting into the fun area, the power-ups and designing them after PewDiePie's food of choice, the melon points. The melon points are simply shown as a number for now. The amount you need for a power-up is 100. You can get up to 10 points per drop, and the amount is decided by a quick equation, which is simply the absolute value of the x of the llama you just dropped subtracted by the one it landed on. Next up came making the framework for power-ups. So first, I made it so that whenever melon points are equal to 100, a global variable, which is a variable that is visible to all objects, named power-up becomes active. When this happens, a menu with the power-up appears. For now, it is just these little buttons. The first one is Water Sheep's Blessing, which simply increases your score by 5. The second one is Spin, which decreases speed significantly for a while. And the third one is Nah, it's just placeholder art. It'll eventually become a cake that's called Dummy Thick, and just makes the llamas a bit larger. Step 5. Next up, I did something that I've been wanting to do in a project for a long time. I made a high score that does not reset whenever you leave the program. It saves itself to an external .sav file creatively named save.sav. Here's a demonstration so I can show you what I mean by that. Next up, I added to the main menu by adding a title and also some pixel art of PewDiePie I made at the beginning of this project. The def menu also shows your score and high score now. Finally, I changed the display for the melon points from just a number to a basic health bar. Step 6 So by this step, pretty much everything that I wanted was in the game. All that was left was some polish and final touches. So first of all, I created a pretty huge background of scrolling pixel art. It's nothing fancy, it just gives you kind of a sense of progression and growth. There's Pewd's old house, Ikea tower, and more. Next up, I made the power-up menu fade in so it looks less ugly, and also redid all the power-up icons. That means I replaced Demon Spin and Big Red. Finally, I added a sound to it and fixed some bugs. 
And here's the final project in action. So yeah, that's all. The game isn't available anywhere yet, but if I get enough support for this video, I might just try putting it on the Play Store. If there's anything I missed or any suggestions you have, comment them down below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more content, and like if you enjoyed, or dislike if you hated. Bye.